to check it out. My colleague Nicole and I are here to tell you about what's happening this month at Peace Public Library. The library will be closed for Memorial Day on Monday, May 27th. Our community knitting group meets every Thursday at 3.30. All skill levels are welcome. Join us on May 15th at 6 p.m. for a New Hampshire Humanities Program, Ethical Aspects of Converging and Emerging Technologies, Some New Challenges in an Era of AI Chatbots. Presenter Herman Tivani examines a range of ethical issues from privacy and autonomy to trust and dependency. He also considers the question, what does it mean to be a human in an age of AI and chatbots? Do you love mysteries? Have you been looking for a space to read with like-minded individuals? Come to Peace Public Library for a mystery bring it your own book book group on the third Monday of every month at 6 p.m. You can sit and read your latest mystery and or come discuss your favorite books and authors. Our first meeting is May 20th. Join us on the last Thursday of the month for an after hours movie night at 5 p.m. The movie we'll watch this month is A Haunting in Venice. Does your fifth to eighth grader like acting and role playing games? Our peer led D&D inspired LARPing club meets on Fridays at 3.30 p.m. For more artsy teens and tweens, we'll have Art Hour-ish, an open art session on May 16th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Tuesday, May 28th, there will be a bread meeting at 5 p.m. and tacos at 6 p.m. No, those are not foods. They are our book reading enthusiastic adolescent directors for 10 to 12 year olds and Teen Advisory Council of Stars for those 13 to high school graduation. Our American Library Association and National Endowment for Humanities funded YA Book Club will be meeting on May 20th at 6 p.m. and reading the book The Revolution of Evelyn Serrano by Sonia Menzonas, better known as the woman who played Maria on Sesame Street. The book club is open to readers ages 14 to 21 and copies are provided. For our youngest friends, our open age story time is held every Wednesday at 10.15 and Thursday at 11 a.m. Kids of all ages can come and read to Jack, a registered therapy dog, on Wednesday, May 8th, and Wednesday, May 22nd at 3.30 p.m. Reading to Jack is a great way for struggling and reluctant readers to build confidence and for shy kids to talk in a non-judgmental space. There will be one, our monthly Reading Dragons meeting on Tuesday, May 21st at 3.30 p.m. Learn to play some easy games with your Reading Dragons cards, design new cards, and even trade with friends. Finally, Brick Builders, our monthly Lego event, will be happening on Tuesday, May 28th at 3.30 p.m. We always have new books coming into the library. Here are some highlights of ones that have recently come in or are being published this month. For adult fiction, you like it darker. Fine, so do I, writes Stephen King in the afterword to this magnificent new collection of 12 stories that delve into the darker part of life, both metaphorical and literal. The number one New York Times bestselling author of Identity presents a suspenseful new novel of tragedy, trauma, love, and family, and the evil that awaits. Read Nora Roberts' Mind Games. That didn't sound good. The number one New York Times bestselling author of Identity presents a suspenseful new novel of tragedy, trauma, love, and family, and the evil that awaits. That is Nora Roberts' new book, Mind Games. Following John Grisham's international bestsellers, Camino Island and Camino Winds, Camino Ghost is the story of an island off the Florida coast with a haunted, violent history and an uncertain future. For adult nonfiction, we have Throne of Grace is the explosive true saga of the legendary adventurer Jediah Smith and the Mountain Men who explored the American frontier. Written by New York Times bestselling authors of Blood and Treasury, Bob Drury and Tom Calvin. George Stephanopoulos, political news host and former advisor to President Clinton, recounts a history-making crisis from the place where 12 presidents made their highest pressure decisions, the White House Situation Room, and his new book, The Situation Room, The Inside Story of Presidents in Crisis. Paradise of the Dam is a rollicking, vividly recreated and enticing romp that tells the true story of an obsessive quest to find El Dorado, set against the backdrop of Elizabethan political intrigue and competition with Spanish conquistadors for the legendary city's treasure, all in a breezy narration that makes the historical subject matter sizzle. Did you know we have a nonfiction section in YA? We do, and May is a great month for it. Part memoir part advice, and all information for teens and adults about all things transgender, YouTube personality Jamie Raines' The T in LGBT found its way to UK bookshelves last year and makes its way to the US in May. The conversational tone and research born of Raines' PhD dissertation combined to make this book a fantastic book for everyone, whether they're trans, questioning their identity, or just hoping to learn more. 
DIY Thrift Clip comes to us from April Yang, better known online by her Kulurpa YouTube channel. Yang's book brings cost and eco-conscious minds all the information they need from the best materials for projects to basic alteration techniques to find, upcycle, and customize secondhand clothes to fit their wardrobe. Cartoonist and author Maya Kubabe has joined forces with Dr. Sarah Peitzmeier, a professor of health behavior and health education, to bring the world Breathe. Breathe combines excerpts from interviews with trans and non-binary people with evidence-based resources on binding to create a short, accessible guide to safe gender-affirming practices. For children, sports enthusiasts and lovers of more geeky pastimes alike will love Curveball, a new graphic novel by Pablo Cartea that brings together softball, LARPing, friendship, and sibling relationships. Think of it as Roller Girl meets Cardboard Kingdom. Does your child love the bad guys series? What about rabbits? Anna Humphrey launches the Fluffle Bunnies series with Buns Gone Bad, the origin story for a terrifying trio known as the Fluffle. Best friends Rachel and June practice their spycraft by solving puzzles left by Anna Smith Strong, a Revolutionary War spy, and discover her hidden treasure. There's just one hitch. They need to solve the final puzzle before June moves. This book will leave young mystery lovers and history buffs guessing until the very end. If you'd like to put any of these titles on hold, just stop by the circulation desk or give us a call and a library staff member would be happy to assist you. For the most up-to-date information about things going on at the library, please visit our website at peacepublicary.org or our Facebook page. That's what's happening this month at Peace. We'll catch you next time on Check It Out.